Let the build up happen, people. Page number five, let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to collect all the pages from the cultists during the Darkening um, Tristram event. Let's do it. So the first thing is you're gonna be collecting seven pages from the cultists to achieve a great portrait frame, which is the angelic portrait frame, which is really, really awesome. It's a very easy way to complete this, this is gonna take you about 10 to 15 minutes of farming, but I have two locations because you're gonna ask yourself where are the best places to find cultists and you know how good is the spawn or the drop rate for these these uh like scrolls okay so the cultist pages the the drop rate is it's pretty good you're not going to get them every time you kill one so you're going to go to these two locations i'm about to show you and then if you don't find any cultists you're just going to leave the game and then come back in the the reason i'm picking these locations is because they're this is where the cultists um spawn the most frequent and they're just where they're popular they can spawn in other places but this is what i have found to be the best locations and then if they're not there you're just going to leave and go again so the first one's in act four in the gardens of hope tier level one you're going to go here and all you're going to do is go around this well okay they spawn pretty common around this well these are not cultists which is okay which is fine but you're just going to go run around the well. If they don't spawn here, we're going to go to the next spot, which is going to be in Act 3 at the uh, Arete, cr cake, bleh, Arete Crater Level 2. See if we have any spawn here. Again, you're not going to venture too far. They should spawn pretty common. If you want to search the entire area, feel free. But we're just kind of zooming through this. If you, But if you want to, feel free to search the entire area, okay? There we go. We killed some cultists right here. Oh, let me kill the rest of these monsters so they don't mess with me. So around this corner, we killed some cultists, and we have cultist page one. They're gonna, it's oh, kill this guy. So it's gonna drop. We got cultist page one. You see that we got cultist page three, six, and seven. We're looking for four more. So the last location that I'll have you guys go to is the core of retreat, the core of Arete. God, I always butcher the names. I always got a problem with that. You're going to go here again. Again, you're just going to search right through. If you don't catch them right off the bat, you're going to leave the game. There goes some cultists right there. Just killed some. There goes another cultist. Right? And we got another page. Page two. Excellent. So at this point, we have almost all the pages. We got one, two, three. We need four and five. And then after that, we've completed them all. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're just going to go right back to town. And then we're going to leave the game and rinse and repeat, guys. Again, we're going to go into the same path, guys, right to Gardens of Hope Tier 1. We're looking for these last two pages. Again, we're just going to zoom all the way around this well and see. They can spawn right there. It doesn't look like they spawn, so we're going to go back to Act 3 and go to uh, a Reek Crater Level 2 and see if they spawn. Oh, look at that, a Treasure Goblin. Did he drop me a gift? He did drop me a holiday gift. How generous of him. Which, guys, we have a video on how to get all the gifts and what to do with them and the chances of getting your angelic wings. So make sure to check that out. All right, we found another pack of cultists right here. Let's see if they drop us one. Come on. All right, we got page four. Excellent. All we need now is page five, and we are done, guys. Let's go check out the last map. And Oops, no, no. Let's go check out the last spot, which is going to be the core of Arete. Let's see if we can find the last page. We're hunting. All right, the last cultist right here. Let's see if they drop our page seven. Kill them all. Let's just kill everybody. Make sure, make sure nobody else is going to mess with us. Oh, oh, cultist page four. So we got a second page four. So we got two cultist page fours. We're still looking for page five. That is the one thing that kind of sucks, guys. With the drop rate, you may find multiple copies of the pages. So you just got to keep farming until you find all of them. All right, we found some cultists. Come on, guys. Hook me up and give me page seven. Page seven. Is this it? Please let it be it. Kill all the monsters. Page number five is what we need. We need page number five. That gives us all seven. Let the buildup happen, people. Page number five. Let's go. We got all seven freaking pages. Let's go. The achievement. I sense a soul, something or another. We got the portrait frame. Let's go, baby. Sense of a soul. 
in search of answers that is page five we have all seven with only one duplicate it is fantastic and all that took about was about 10 to 15 minutes guys of farming and you can get all seven pages and it's really cool if you read this it's a really cool like little story that they have and what's going on and they give you really good clues about the event and kind of how the 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 cultists returned and all this stuff that happened in the lore so it's really cool it's nostalgia i can't stop talking about that guys but we got all seven we got the achievement easy peasy like the video guys let me know down in the comments if you've collected all seven pages and if you guys are having trouble let me know and i will help you out otherwise guys thank you so much for watching as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace